What's up guys, it's Said here. In this video, we will learn how to create curved windows. Come with me. That looks evil does not have curved windows in its library, but this does not mean that we cannot create them using a lot of beautiful tools that it provides us with. Let's apply this standard window on our curved wall. We can drag and drop it as well as we can draw a new aperture this way. Let's just do it this way. And yeah, what is this? It's like the software doesn't know what's happening right now. Let's go to 3D view. This is the result. <laughs> so awkward. Well, obviously this method is not working. Mm. All right, let's delete this one. And the thing is we need to apply windows with a smaller width in order to fit inside this wall. So let's do it. Something like this. All right, something that will fit inside our wall. not working but we can rotate it this way mm -hmm. we cannot rotate it manually so we can go and change the rotation on here 20 oh let's make it 10 this is good let's move it down a bit just like this and let's see the result yeah, this is better. Oh, there is a little problem in here. Let's move it this way. Hmm, this is okay. I can move it. Well, let's now make the frame width as small as possible. Well, here it is. Well, the seal height 0 0.2 example and then then the height 2.2 maybe or maybe 2.1 well and let's just position the, the active aperture let's move it next to this one and yeah, I guess, well, let's mm, set the seal, seal height to 0 0.2, like this, and let's uh, position this active aperture once more this way. but it does not fit inside the wall. Let's rotate it again. Um, minus 155. Well, minus 152. Well, I guess it's good. scale it this way and I guess the seal height is 0 0.2 I guess this is the first way to create a curved window let's delete these windows and let's start making our window in another way. The way I do it is I cut out through 
this wall. I just make a little cut out and I adjust it the way I want using the scale tool. Well, I can stretch it this way. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Stretch. Stretch. Well, there's a little problem. I gotta go back, I guess. Well, this is cool. Well, I stretch it again this way. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I don't need to be precise. I'm just showing you how to do it. I can make another cut out on here. This way and I stretch it again in this direction. I stretch it up. Well, I guess that's so good. Well, now we can do something like that. We can go to the side view for us to have the same height. Yeah, this is good. And now we have this. We have this huge cut out, but we need to fill it with a huge curved window. Hmm, how to do that? We go to room element, go to to the TV view, and then we just draw a polygonal room element. Yeah, let's go to the 2D view and move it a bit up this way. And yeah, here it is. Just like the wall we have cut through, but we have this margin. Let's now go to the second floor to now let's go to the material tab and let's pick this material the glass now let's go back to the underground we drag this material and drop it and yes it's a huge curved window This is the way we do it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.